I am so excited right now, you do not even know why you ask. Well, this is the second Q&A video that I've done in a few days, and well, I haven't done Q&A videos in a while. So that is why. And by the way, I hope you are as thrilled to be watching this as I am to be shooting it. I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com, and this Q&A video is awesome. It's about twisted pair network cables. Oh my gosh. Now, Twisted is good, especially if you are a network cable. Why are they called twisted pair network cables? Well, if you run two cables in parallel, you know, there's current running through them. One is going to be interfering with the other one. Bleeding is going to happen. So to avoid that, twist them together. Everybody is happy. No bleeding. No bleeding is a good thing. So twisted pair. If you ever open up a network cable, you'll see that they're all twisted together. That's why. Next up, EMI. What is EMI? Some of you know. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Electromagnetic interference. Okay, so there's shielded cables and non-shielded network cables. If there's EMI, if you know that there's EMI, electromagnetic interference, if you're running cables through that, of course you want a cable or cables that have shielding. So get shielded network cables. If there's no EMI, don't waste your money on it. Get unshielded network cables. Now the last thing I'll be talking about here is the different categories of cables. Sometimes you'll see like CAT6, CAT5 stamped on the cables. Yep, that's right. That's a different categories, what kind of speeds and stuff. I'll get into that. Hold your horses. <laughs> First, let's talk about the distance. How long can a cable be before you get signal loss or attenuation? Well, these twisted pair network cables can be up to 100 meters. It's around 320 odd feet in length before you get signal loss. Now, I'm going way back here just to give you a speed comparison. Cat3 cables, 10 megabits per second, super slow. Cat5, still super slow, 100 megabits per second. Cat5e though, now we're talking one gigabit or 1000 megabits per second. Awesome. And that's what you see, you know, mostly these days. You'll see those packaged with your routers, especially with, you know, home networking products, that type of stuff. And a lot of people choose, still choose, even for small business and whatnot, category 5e cables. They're fine for the most part. Gigabit networks, more than adequate for most uses. However, if you want something faster, go with category six cables. Now, there's some differences here, and by the way, I am not a networking expert, and if you are, please offer advice, suggestions, and comments. They're more than welcome. Category six cables have a speed of 10 gigabits per second. Awesome, but you can only get up to around, you know, 164 feet limit on that before they drop to one gigabit. So that's a little bit of the limit. Uh, for most people, probably not, so keep that in mind. However, if you go uh, CAT 6A cables, you can go up to the full 100 meters or 320 odd feet. So, you know, it's up to you what you want to get. For me, I'd probably go with a CAT 6 cable if you're routing your home or whatnot. Wi-Fi is excellent, wireless is awesome for a lot of things, but if you still want rock solid network connectivity, you know, you can't beat wired connections. Well, I hope you enjoyed this crazy Q&A video. And uh, like I said in the last one, I plan on doing more of these in the future. And with that, I'm out of here.